We are interviewing Professor Dora Kidd from the University of San Francisco. Professor Kidd has a PhD from the Simon Fraser University and has done considerable amount of work in community media and other related issues. Her major work also is in the areas of political economy and social change. She has published a vast body of work and her interests include media and globalization, participatory communication and democratic means of communication. Professor Kidd, let me start off the interview. I would just like to ask, uh, how do you see the role of community radio, alternative media and community media in the United States? Well, I think community media and citizens media still have a very important role to play because the dominant media, whether it's the state-supported media or the corporate commercial media, are not telling very deep stories about people's lives or about people's experiences or about people's social and economic problems. And I think that that role of uh, telling those stories and also providing a platform for people to talk with one another and discuss problems and deliberate about the issues that are important to them is the role that community media can best play. What role do you think low power FM, that is LPFM, plays in the United States? I mean, I hear it's facing a huge problem uh, acquiring uh, a certain kind of credibility in comparison to commercial radio stations, NPR stations and other radio stations. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Let me say that I, first off I think that low power FM is actually a very inadequate remedy to the problem and it's a very piecemeal uh, remedy that the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, has, has, has given to citizens because they're not willing to deal with the power of the large corporate media. So it's in fact really, in, in my estimation, even though I work on low-powered FM, it's very inadequate to the problem, which is that the media in the United States is no longer serving the role that it was originally designed to do, which is to serve the needs of the people and of establishing democratic communications. That said, uh, Low Power FM uh, comes out of a movement of citizens, some of whom were music programmers, some of whom were from cultural communities that had been marginalized by the dominant media, some of whom were academics, some of whom were media activists. And I, th I think it's a solution for very specific groups. So for example, in San Francisco where I live, there are communities of artists, uh, who are applying for low FM, low power FM licenses. There are communities of musicians. And I think that it will provide them with a, a, a platform for them to get together and talk about their art and their music and to meet other people. And it will be, provide the, the opportunity as a social network. Professor Kidd, uh, with reference to the theme of this year's IMCR on region and politics, I would just like to ask, how, what role do you think, you know, alternate media, community media, and other forms of citizen media play with regards to region and issues of politics in those regions? Well, I think the, the importance of the, of the conference, of this pre-conference and also of the international conference, is that we share stories and examples of how community media has operated. So, for example, I've been sitting with Amparo Cadavid from Colombia and I'm from Canada and the United States, and we are both saying, you know what, we've heard a lot of this for the last 20 or 30 years. We need to really share our stories between the regions so that we don't continue to repeat some of the same problems. I also think that we're in a new era. We, don't, we, we still need community media, but there is less of a need for um, uh, one uh, homogeneous set of community media institutions. We need to instead have community media, but we also need to figure out ways to um, empower other kinds of citizens' media communications. Because citizens are taking, as you know, um, other forms of media into their own hands, whether it's social media, whether it's citizen journalism, whether it's what I call social movement media, they're using the tools which are now proliferated all around the world, even for the poorest people. Um, and we need to figure out as community media way, better ways to connect with the autonomous representations of people. And I, I think that's the challenge that we face today. Ma'am, in line with the last answer, I would just like to ask, what role do you think a state plays in such a platform, you know, to encourage uh, these kind of platforms and people to take up their own sources of media? 
Um, I think unfortunately, as we've seen in India and in the United States, the state has played mainly a, a negative role. I think the most positive thing that the state could do now would be to um, fund uh, capacity, uh, fund training, uh, fund groups that are already doing the work and take their hands off. And to actually be held account to the fact that they have signed uh, the UN Declaration on Human Rights and they should live up to it. They have signed the protocols on everyone having the right to housing and to food security and they should live up to it. They have signed uh, the Declaration of Human Rights in terms of the protection of, of journalists and other kinds of people and they should live up to it. So I'm actually quite not, posit not very positive about the state taking a major role in communications because they have done such a bad job up to this state. Ma'am, uh, in line with social media and other things you were talking about. What role do you think uh, th these kind of platforms offer to people who are looking to voice their opinions and express their problems in the social space? Yes, I think it will have to change. I mean, I, I think community media, as we've been talking about, is not wa well understood and community has too many complicated plastic meanings. Uh, I'm not sure what the term will be, whether it will be citizens media or alternative media or other media or social movement media, um, we're going to have to learn to live with a lot of different terms for the next little while. Okay, thanks a lot for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you.